Marketing Call to Action, Strategies to Convert More Visitors into Sales and Leads. Brought to you by www.internetmarketingtopresources.com. It's called a Marketing Call to Action. When your prospects visit your website, you must call them to action, and action in this case is either getting them to opt in or make a purchase. For many people, websites are information hubs, but the unfortunate thing about many sites is that they are not effective enough in converting visitors into subscribers or customers. In this video, I'll show you how to achieve higher conversions on individual pages of your site. Aside from the home page, you can also monetize from other pages such as the About Us page, the Contact Us page, and one other page which is lesser known but highly powerful, the Media page. Here's how to do it. Number one, home page. If you've been doing internet marketing for a while, you probably already know what would make your home page stand out and how to convert clicks into cash or leads. But many marketers are missing out on potential sales or leads when a visitor exits the site. Once they close out your web page, they might never return again. That's why you need to have an effective exit strategy. If your aim is to make a sale, then use a virtual smart agent that will offer them a discount when they exit your site. If your aim is to build a list, then put an exit pop-up that offers some quality products in exchange for their email. Number two, About Us page. This is where you get to talk about who you are and your knowledge or experience in your niche. Don't make it long, a couple of paragraphs will do. Right after that, it's a testimonial time. Get one of your clients who's very happy with your products to give you a testimonial and make sure it's powerful enough. Most happy clients are happy to give testimonials. If they were satisfied with your products, they will have no problem with you explaining to them exactly what the testimonial is for and where you want it placed. To get even better results, bribe them with a quality product or gift exchange for the testimonial they'll be giving. Tell them to make it concise and to the point. Better for the client, long winding testimonials start looking like overkill. Then get a photo or logo of the client and their website, if any, and place them together with their testimonial either on the left or the right hand side. Done? Now add a line there that wills your prospect into action. Say something like, are you ready for these kinds of results right now? Click here. This link leads to the order page or the opt-in page. Already you have used the About Us page to make a call to action. Number three, the media page. You may or may not have one, depending on what you're offering. Either way, because the regular media is a great way of publicizing even online products, it's advisable to have one. Here, get press clippings of what newspaper or magazines had to say about your product. Then get an existing client to give you an interview. Around five minutes is enough. If they don't want to appear in person, record an audio session. It will do just as well. All you need to do is insert their name and website under the video or audio clip. Then create a good call to action like, if you want to experience the freedom that is XXX, is joining now, click here. The prospect's mind is still ringing with the video or audio content. They've just seen a happy client. They want to be just like them, or at least try. Catch them then. If you have a testimonial or endorsement for an institution or a press house, you may put it here too. Right after that, make a good call to action. Again, it must be cleverly worded. For example, JKL Company was able to reduce their customer query turnaround time by 75%. If you want to achieve the same results, just click here. Number four, contact us page. Most people make this a page about their office location, email addresses, and telephone numbers. Nothing wrong with that, but it should come at the very bottom. Make it such that you're congratulating the prospect for having come this far. Use this page to gather more information on the visitor. Use a feedback form and ask questions about what they would like. If they've not bought, maybe ask them about the reason why they would like to see and if they think the product is useful. You'll probably get a few rude answers, but most people like to share their opinions. They will give you their information. Use that information to improve your site or products. And don't let them leave the page without giving them a reward. What kind of reward? How about some quality ebooks or software? But first, they have to register their email. Or how about a special discount that is only available to people who gave you their feedback? More sales to you. The possibilities are endless. The whole point of using this very specific marketing design is to make sure that wherever on your site your visitor is, you are getting them closer to do what you want them to do. 
Don't leave them wandering around. Most buy decisions are made in a split second, and you should use that split second to get a sale. As for the squeeze page, entice them the best way you can to give their email. Then come up with an irresistible one-time offer after they've subscribed. You'll find that you have better conversions this way. Best of luck with your marketing call to action strategies. Discover the best internet marketing resources, tips, and strategies to help you make more money online at www.internetmarketingtopresources.com.